and this is my living room. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice. So, how's your base coming along? Oh, well, uh, you know, I'm still living in a dirt house. Nothing much. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait. What the heck? Hello, my name is Ify and this is my first tutorial, so let me know what you think. This video is split into multiple parts, there are timestamps below for any who want to skip ahead. First up, I'll give you a bit of insight into how I made this build. Okay, so even before I started building, I had a general idea of what I wanted to make. I knew I couldn't go for a western style palace because they're all made of limestone and marble. So instead I go for something a little more eastern or oriental. I find a couple reference photos and I get to work putting the basic shape together. Happy with how it turned out, I start working on the individual elements of the build, starting with the pillars. It takes me a while to get the shape of the arches right, but eventually I figure it out and I move on to trying out different textures. After going through a couple options, I eventually settle on this kind of diorite, calcite and quartz mix. This will hopefully give the build a bit of contrast. Next on the list was trying to figure out a gradient for the build. I put together all of the kind of dirt related items I can think of and eventually I come up with this. I make an example wall and I start getting to work on the shape of the roof. With most of the elements done, I make a mock-up of the tower so I can see how all the elements go together. Also, quick question, am I the only one that kind of just jumps around whenever they get bored? Happy with how the tower turned out, I get to work putting the rest of the build together. I also decide to remove the rooted dirt from the build because it's a bit too much. Also, after finishing the build, I realized that the roof and the walls blended in a bit too much, so I tried a couple other designs, but none of them really worked, so in the end I just stick with the spruce roof. If you like any of these other options, then feel free to use them instead. With the exterior complete, I start polishing up the interior. I also raised the whole build up by a couple blocks and added a stone porch. I tried giving the house a stone base but it wasn't really working so I eventually gave up on that idea. With the main build pretty much done it was time to move on to the detailing. Windows, awnings, flower baskets, doors, balconies, etc. On the inside of the tower I added a spiral staircase although it took me a couple tries to get it right. To give a bit more life to the area surrounding the build I added flowers, barrels and an animal pen. Lastly I added some windows to the roof and even a small one to the tower attic. I also added some vines creeping up the wall just for that extra pop of green. And with that the build is done. It took around 9 hours to make and it's probably one of my favorite builds I've ever made. And now let's move on to the tutorial part of the video. But first, let me give you a small tour of the property. Here you can see the facade of the build and this is how it looks from the back. Over here we have the back door entrance and this is the first floor of the build. This is a staircase adjacent room. Then there's this spiral staircase. And now we reach the second level. Up this ladder is the attic. Which then ties into the tower. This tower can be pretty helpful for spotting enemies or hiding a princess if that's your thing. But it also has a little secret up this ladder. There's a smaller kind of secret attic up here. Ok and with that let's look at what is required to build this thing. You will need this and this and this and this and this. In total you will need all of these, they should be on the screen right now. Keep in mind since the build has a lot of random textures you will have some blocks left over. Also in this chest you are also gonna need a couple torches, some scaffolding and some temporary blocks. These don't have to be snow blocks, they can be anything you want. And for vegetation you're gonna need 29 plants for the window planters, a bit of moss, a few things for the animal pen, some leaves and spruce fences for the vines, and 10 tall plants. For the flowers they don't have to be what I've chosen here, they can be anything you want. And with that let's jump into the tutorial. 
Okay, so to make it easier to follow, I've split the tutorial up into steps. The progress bar at the top of the video shows how much until the next step. Though I would recommend you watch the video in its entirety once before you start building, just so you have some idea of what you're getting into. Also I'd like to apologize now for just how boring my voice sounds. With that, let's begin. Ok, so first step you're gonna want to clear out an area and mark this layout. Now we're gonna want to bring the wall up to 7 blocks tall. I'm gonna be using diamond blocks so you can more easily tell the dimensions of stuff but you should probably use dirt. Ok, so now it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks tall. Ok, next thing we're gonna do is make the stone porch. We're gonna make it just out of stone for now and then we're gonna add some texture in later. At the edges it has slabs and stairs where the pillars are going. Ok now 5 blocks from the edge of the building, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're gonna punch out a, a 2 by 3 hole and then we're gonna lay out the first floor. You don't necessarily have to use spruce planks. With the floor now in place, we're gonna move on and make the pillars. They should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks tall. We're gonna make them out of smooth quartz first and then add the texture in later. Ok, now we're gonna add in the diorite arches. Now we're gonna lay the first floor frame on top. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the end it should look a little something like this. Ok, now let's add in the side frame, 1, 2 here, 1, 2, 3, 4 here, then add this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and connect it. Ok, now time for the back frame, 1, 2 here, 1, 2, 3 here, 1, 2, 3 place, and 1, 2, 3 place. Connect all of these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, One, two, three, four. In the end it should look something like this. Ok, now let's put in the second level floor. First of all you're gonna want to break the wall here. Here and here. Basically wherever the frames are. Now we're just gonna fill in the rest of this. Ok, now that the floor is done let's raise up the walls by another 4 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4. Make sure to also fill in the frames. Do this everywhere except for in this little corner. This is where the small roof is going to go. Ok, now we're gonna add in the attic floor. This one should be one block above the walls. The floor should go everywhere except for above the tower and the small roof. Now we're gonna bring the tower walls up by another one block. And on top we're gonna lay the tower frame. Bring up 
these two corners by one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, place another one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then on top, we're gonna have something a little like this. Going only above where the pillars are going to go. Now let's fill in the frame. Fill in this side. This side. And over here. And don't fill in over here as this is where the pillars are going to go. Okay, so let's add the pillars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They should be spaced one block apart. In between them, on the bottom, we're gonna add an upper slab and on the top, a stair. Okay, now let's add in the floor. And for the ceiling, we're gonna use upper slabs. On the first floor, break this 5x5 five five inside the tower. And one block of the tower floor. Then add a scaffolding for easy access all the way up to the top. On the top of the tower, you're gonna wanna break these two blocks. So now you have an easier way to get to the attic. Okay, now we're gonna make the general roof shape out of some temporary blocks. Let's start with the tower. On top of the walls, add one layer of blocks. Then one layer below, add an overhanging layer of blocks. Surrounding the entire tower. Next, we're going to continue up into this kind of pyramid shape. In the end, it should look a little something like this. Okay, now for the main roof. Add a layer of blocks above the walls again. These should line up with the attic floor. On this side, add one block overhanging. Like this. Now it should look a little something like this. Next we're gonna go one block beneath and add an overhanging layer that goes all the way around. When you reach this part, add one block here and then three blocks going in this direction. Okay, now the roof should look something like this. Now let's lay the second layer of the pyramid. The next layer of the pyramid should look something like this. And then we continue up in this kind of pyramid fashion. If you do it right, it should look a little something like this. Okay, I apparently got it wrong here. Over here it's supposed to be just two, so we're gonna break this block, add one block here. Break this block, add one block here. Break this block, add one block here. And then break this one. Now it's correct. Okay, now let's move on to the small roof. Add one layer of blocks over here. Add another layer of blocks overhanging under it. This one should take a right turn and go all the way around. And then it should go up until it reaches the tower. 
Also make sure to give it a small overhang. Okay now let's try and fill in these ends over here. First we're gonna fill in this right here. Make sure it goes all the way up and through the layer of temporary blocks. And now for the main roof we're gonna break these 5 blocks. And then these 4 temporary roof blocks. Then we're gonna go in the inside and fill it in. Here in between the tower and the end we're gonna break this block and add 1 through 3 blocks here. Here one floor below where the small roof meets the tower we're gonna add one layer of blocks like so. And then we're gonna break these four blocks and replace them with stairs. Over here we're gonna continue this end all the way down to the ground floor. So fill in this area. And then down below break these four blocks and continue the wall all the way down. Now on top of the roof we're gonna go over here, break this diamond block and then go all the way down. And then all the way back up using spruce logs. So in the end this area should look a little something like this. Now on the inside of the attic we, we actually have this kind of outward facing barrels and we have to place them in now before we add the roof. Let's start with the tower attic. On the front of the attic break these 5 blocks and replace them with strips spruce wood. Then break these 5 blocks and place the barrels. Then do the same for all the other sides. In the end it should look something like this. Now for the main roof we're gonna go to the third layer of the pyramid. Break these three blocks, add barrels and then over here in the corner we're gonna break it and add a strip log. We're gonna continue like this all the way around the build. Wherever there is an inward corner, we're gonna break it and place a strip log. Do this all the way up to here. In the end it should look a little something like this. Okay, now we're gonna punch out the places where the windows are gonna go. Here on the front of the main attic we have one barrel, then we're gonna break 1, 2, 3, 4, place 2 upward locks and then 2 sideways locks, and then a 4x4 four four of glass, 2 dirt on either side, and then we're gonna break the blocks behind it, meaning these 4 blocks and these 2 blocks. On the side of the attic we're gonna break these 4 barrels, replace this block with a strip block and this one, then we're gonna place 2 upward facing logs and 2 sideways facing logs, then on top once again 2 dirt blocks and 4 glass panes. Behind break these 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks and these two blocks. On the back of the ad we're gonna count one two barrels then we're gonna punch out three one two three two upward facing logs one horizontal only one glass pane and three blocks surrounding it. Then on the corners we're gonna replace this barrel and this barrel. Behind it break one two three and four blocks. Now we're gonna go on the inside of the small roof. Over here we're gonna add 5 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then right here we're gonna 
we're gonna punch out one block and then three blocks around it. Place some glass and then three blocks around it. Um, okay, so this is me from the future. I've just realized I've actually made a small mistake here. So we're gonna break this. And then we're gonna bring it one block forward. Like this. Okay. On the front side of the tower attic, place one glass pane. Three blocks surrounding it. And then break the four blocks behind it. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we have the basic shape of the building done. So let's try and add some of the gradients. So try and imagine if this build was real, where would people walk? And add some gravel. Around the gravel, sprinkle in some andesite. Then for a bit more texture add a couple blocks of polished andesite. In the end it should look a little something like this. Ok now for the pillars, randomly add a couple blocks of diorite. A little something like this. Now from the diorite deteriorate onto calcite, then quartz pillars and then smooth quartz. In the end it should look something like this. Now repeat these steps for the tower pillars. Also replace some of the stairs and slabs with polished diorite. In the end it should look a little something like this. Ok now it's time for the main gradient. On the bottom it should go from mud bricks to packed mud and then to mushroom blocks. And then at each floor level there should be some coarse dirt. And in between these two there should be dirt. So this is an example of what one textured face should look like. On the tower also add a couple random patches of mud brick like these. Make sure to also add a texture on the inside of the build. In the end it should look a little something like this. Ok now that we're done with the walls it's time to move on to the roof. Let's start with the tower roof. Place stairs above the overhanging layer of the pyramid.
then place slabs in this kind of zigzag pattern all around the build. Make sure the corners are upper slabs. Ok now it should look a little something like this. Now we're gonna remove the overhanging layer of temporary blocks and wherever there is a gap over here we're gonna place an upper slab. Upper slab here, not here, here, not here, here, not here and so on. In the end it should look something like this. Okay now we're gonna do the same for the small roof. Again make sure the corner is an upper slab and you should end up with something looking like this. Now it's time for the main roof. Now we're gonna add the zigzag pattern. You should start on this side with an upper slab. In the end it should look something like this. Ok now let's make the window roofs. They should all look something like this. Make sure they have this small overhang. Also this is the point when I realized that I had placed this window a bit further back. Ok so now we have to move on to the roof but first of all I made this kind of example so I can show you how it's supposed to work. Randomly place stairs that gradually decrease up to level 4 of the pyramid. Kind of like this. Then fill in the gaps using strip logs. Then for a bit more texture we're gonna add a couple logs facing outward. So in the end it should look something like this. Also make sure you place this on top of the temporary pyramid. Ok now we're gonna go ahead and do this for the entire roof.
Okay, if you do it right, it should look something like this. Now, there are a couple spots that are quite tricky. There's one layer that has two blocks def. And then over here where you have this kind of overhang. But really, even if you mess up in a couple places, I doubt anyone would notice. Just make sure you have the overhangs for the main roof and the small roof done correctly. On the first floor next to the tower make sure you replace this temporary block with a block of dirt. Then you can go ahead and remove all of these temporary blocks. Just like this. Ok and with that the roof is done. This was by far the hardest part of the build so from now it should be plain sailing. Most of the build is done anyway, all that's left is the windows, doors and the staircase. Ok now let's put in the spiral staircase. First of all remove the scaffolding and replace it with a strip lock going all the way to the ceiling. Then replace this edge with strip logs. Ok now for the steps you're gonna have to follow along with me. I'm gonna be using copper and oxidized copper so you can tell the difference between the steps better. Ok so we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then right here we have 4, and then we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then we go back to 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 and lastly we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 ok now I have replaced all the slabs with spruce and now let's put in the guardrail one here one here, here, another one here, and then all around this. And up at the top, we're just gonna surround this whole thing. Best part about this staircase is that it has this kind of small hole over here so if you want to get quickly between the first level and the ground floor you can just jump down. Ok now to get up to the attic we're gonna have a ladder. Punch out these two blocks, put the ladder up to here and then we're gonna have some trapdoors here and here. Now this area here is once again so you can just jump down without having to take the ladder. And for the tower attic we're gonna punch this block out, place ladders up, up to there and now a trap door up top. Ok now let's put in the front door. There are two stairs over here, replace this with some andesite and place in the doors. There. Ok and now we're also gonna add a back door, 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks, 1, 2, 3, I'm gonna put the stair above here, I'm gonna replace this mushroom block so that it actually looks good, replace this with andesite and then add the door and we're also gonna add some stairs. There. And lastly up top in between the tower and attic we're gonna put some slabs here, a door here and then we're gonna break this block and add a stick. Also add a lantern on one of the guardrails. Ok now it's time to punch out the windows. We're gonna have one here and another one here. one here and another one here and we're gonna continue like this for the other level
From the outside it should look like this. Two blocks, two blocks, three blocks, two blocks, three blocks, two blocks, four blocks and another two blocks. Over here at the top of the staircase we're gonna punch out this block and add a glass pane. Then we're gonna punch out these two blocks and add trap doors. These two blocks and add glass panes. These two blocks and add trap doors. These two blocks and add trap doors. And then we're gonna break these two blocks, add glass panes. And then these three blocks and add a stair and a door. This is where one of the balconies is gonna go. From the outside it should look like this. You can even make it look like one of the windows is open. Okay now on the side of the house we're gonna punch out a 2x2 window. And then at the back of the house we're gonna have another two windows. On the other side we're gonna have two trap doors. And on this side we're gonna have another balcony. A window here. And a door here. So in the end it should look like this. Okay, now let's move on to the first floor. At the entrance next to the door we're gonna have a two tall window. Then on the side of the house we're gonna have a 2x2 two two window. And then one two blocks from that a small window. Next to the back door we're gonna have another big window. And in the staircase adjacent room we're gonna have two small windows. Okay now it's time to add the window awnings. First at the tower. Place trap doors here and here. Open them. Then place kind of like this eyebrow thing. Like this. Now copy this for all four windows. In the end it should look like this. At the front balcony add a lantern here. And add the back balcony, add a lantern here. Also add the small window beneath the small roof. Add another hanging lantern here. Now on ground level, next to the entrance, add a trap door here. And then three slabs, one here, here and here. For the big side window, add a stair here and a stair here. Two slabs here and then two lower slabs here then hang a lantern. Then for the small window is the same as the one at the entrance. For the big back window is the same as the big side window. Two stairs here, two slabs and then two lowercase slabs and a hanging lantern. And then for the staircase adjacent room windows you have another weird eyebrow shape and two trap doors. Okay and that's it for the awnings, now it's time to move on to the planters. The tower planters are quite simple, there's a slab, some moss and trap doors. Do this here, here and for these two. Don't do them for the upper ones. Now for the windows above the porch, there's a free white planter over here. and a small planter in the middle. Okay, now for the balcony, you're gonna place a slab in the middle, stairs on either side, then we're gonna fill in with some temporary blocks, trap doors all around, And then on the inside we're still gonna have a small planter at the edge, under the window. 
For the big side window we're gonna have a true white planter. Then at the back we're gonna have another true white planter underneath these windows and another balcony. Now for this window in the small roof we're gonna break these three stairs, add a trap door here, moss block on top, trap doors around, and then these stairs we're gonna turn the other way. So it should look like this. For the other small window we're gonna do basically the same, remove these, trap door here, moss block, trap doors around, but we can't actually turn the stair around, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Up on the tower roof we're gonna do the exact same thing, remove these, moss block, trap doors here and here this time. Trapdoors around the moss block. And make these stairs go the other direction. Should look like this. Now for the big front window on the roof. We're gonna remove these four blocks. Add two moss blocks under the window. Trapdoors in front of them. And then the stairs are going to go like this and like this and we're gonna do the same thing for the side window as well remove these two moss blocks trap doors stair stair and just like that for the small back window we're gonna remove these three moss block stair there and trap door okay now for the side windows on the bottom level we're gonna place two trap doors here moss blocks on top and trap doors surrounding for the small window is just a regular planter just like this at the big window next to the back door we once again have two barrels, moss and trapdoor surrounding. And for these two windows we have one barrel, moss here and here, and then trapdoor surrounding the two moss blocks. Just like this. Also just notice I forgot the shutters, these big windows are supposed to have shutters, so add them to the big side window, the side window on the first floor, and the big back door window. Just like that. Now I'll quickly go over and put some plants into all of these planters. And just like that all of the planters have been planted. Okay now in front of the front door window we're gonna break these two blocks, put coarse dirt and two rose bushes. Then an oak trap door here, another oak trap door here, a spruce trap door here and a barrel here. Also on this corner of the tower we're gonna break this block, put a coarse dirt a two tall flower on top of it, trap doors around just like so, and another barrel over here. And in this corner between the tower and the small roof, 
right here we're gonna put a coarse dirt here a coarse dirt here two tall flowers on top and some barrels here and here then some trapdoor surrounding just like so now over here in the back we're gonna break these two blocks then one two three four five six seven this block here and then all of these blocks and now we have to make some mud something like this i'll do fill in the puddles add a bit of grass and now let's work on the animal pen make a 3 by 5 of fences with a fenced gate here raise the pillars up by another 3 blocks 1 2 3 1 2 3 then another 2 blocks going like this and like this and a lantern hanging from here now it's time to make the roof we're gonna place a slab here and here then some slabs on top of the fence like this this connect them up and three more out here and then connect this up to the wall in the end it should look like this lastly on the inside add a couple animals Okay, now it's time for the last step and that's adding some vines crawling up the walls. Let's start over here in between the tower and the porch. Add a fence and then just start adding vines out of oak leaves. Then for texture replace some of the leaves with birch. And there you have a vine. Now you can add two more on the back of the build and maybe another one just scrolling up this corner of the build. And with that it's the end of the tutorial, though there is one last thing I'd want you to do. And that's tying your build into the surroundings. There's no point in having a beautiful base if it's sticking out of the surroundings like a sore thumb. Here you can see an example of what that could look like. I added a pathway going all around the build. A small kind of Mediterranean style wall going around half of the build. A path leading up to the build with trees that kind of frame the building. And to the side a small pond and a rose garden. It's these kind of small things that can really help give the build that last thing it needs. And with that the video is done. This took a long time to make so if you want to see more of these then leave a comment, a like or maybe even subscribe as that helped me out a lot. And with that, thanks for watching and goodbye.